Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ava and Harris reunite, John opens up, Sloan disagrees, and it's time to go. Days in the life according to Monday, March 18th spoilers, Drake Hodgson's character John Black will talk candidly with Marlena Evans about his past as the pawn. Eric Brady's choice to allow Nicole Walker to host Jude Brady's christening party is something that Sloane Peterson disagrees with. Stefan Demera must go right away for E.J. Demera. Harris and Ava having sex. Marlena was just informed by Steve Johnson of John's encounter with Constantine Meliunis. Regretfully, John cannot recall pursuing Constantine in the past. John also doesn't recall shooting the daughter of Constantine. Back then, Constantine had a lot of enemies. Could someone else have killed her? John will have Marlena's assistance in trying to unearth these memories that she ought to have been informed about years ago, as well as the extent of Steve's harm. John wants to determine the root of this issue once and for all, since he doesn't think Constantine is telling the truth. Is Marlena able to assist John in learning the truth about what actually transpired that day? Nicole is adamant on throwing Jude Brady an after-christening celebration. Nicole naturally states that she wants to atone for taking the baby from Horton Square. Sloane was also accused by Nicole of stealing her child. Although fans are aware that the infant is Nicole and Eric's child, neither of them is aware of this. Jude cannot be anywhere near Nicole, according to Sloane. How on earth did Eric think he would consent to this? She disagrees with Eric, though, who seems to think Nicole and Holly Jonas should be a part of everything in his life. Will everything go according to plan, or will Sloane's great secret be revealed at last? Harris Michael's phone number is EJ's. Harris is aware that EJ is assisting Stefan, and EJ leaves DA as soon as the police find out. EJ has to act quickly to get Stefan out of town and beyond the reach of the cops. Will EJ's actions be proven to Harris? or will he continue to get away with his dishonest behavior? John and Steve don't need to worry about their involvement in Clyde Weston's escape, according to Ava. But Ava has brought Harris home as well. Harris's survival and, of course, their bond will be celebrated by Ava and Harris. Will Harris lose his life as a result of Ava's actions? March brings madness to Salem, particularly with a lunatic on the loose. Jada considers Harris and Ava's connection a little annoying. Jada tries to reason with Harris because his relationship with Ava can ruin his job. Nevertheless, Ava and Harris intensify their romance and advance it. Ava is horrified as Stefan's deadly secret comes to light. EJ is prepared to take Stefan to safety and is keeping an eye out for him. Chad receives a drunken Stefan's call and is taken aback by his brother's condition. Stefan surprises his brothers by telling the police that he is. Stefan appears to have made an agreement, but Harris warns Ava not to get carried away. When Xander is released on bond, Sarah is ecstatic and immediately rejoices. After a happy reunion, Xander and Sarah quickly miss Victoria. Steve and Johnny sees the chance to rejoice over Abe and Paulina's exciting news. Abe tells his best friend Roman the specifics of his amazing memory comeback. Paulina and Kate, who are friends, reunite, while Johnny and Chanel rejoice. Following their kiss, Johnny suggests a honeymoon destination to Chanel. It appears that Lady Whistleblower is rushing to find shocking tales to tell her audience. Sloane should be concerned, though, as Leo never fails to come up with something scandalous. Tate's christening turns into a point of contention between Eric and Sloane. When Eric meets with Nicole, to go over the specifics of the christening, he feels a little uneasy. A blatantly doubtful Eric thinks Holly is trying to hide the specifics of her overdose. John understands there's no point in keeping his complicated relationship with Constantina's secret after overhearing Steve and Marlena. John surprises Marlena by telling her he's going to give himself in. John adds that he intends to patch things up with crazy Constantine. When Teresa gets a menacing reminder from Constantine, she becomes enraged. Stefan's communication, Sloan rips into Eric, Ava and Harris hit the wastes. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Monday, March 18th, 
reveal that John Black will blow up at Steve Johnson for keeping secrets about what happened in Aria and telling Marlena Evans before him all these times latterly. John will offer updates on his battle with Constantine Meliunis and the story he heard about Katharina, but Steve and Marlena will try to assure John that he's not the same programmed man he used to be. Still, John will still feel to condemn for Katharina's grim fate and will lash out as a result. Although John will try to reuse the news of what he putatively did, he may not actually be responsible since no bone. Witnessed the crime. Across City on Monday's day's occasion, Ava Vitali and Harris Michaels will toast effects up, so it looks like they LL put all the drama away and hit the wastes together. Meanwhile, DOL suckers can anticipate EJ DeMera to deliver a communication to Stefan DeMera, who's hiding out while he waits on the green light from his family. Now that Harris has been at the DeMera manse asking two numerous questions and hurling allegations, EJ will be ready to get the show on the road when it comes to Stefan's coming way. Stefan has probably been drilled up in the DeMera basement, but day spoilers say EJ will partake a drink with him in the living room and offer word on his escape plot. Over with Sloan Peterson, Brady, and Eric Brady, they LL get into an argument about Jude Brady's christening. Of course, day spoilers suggest this may really be about the event since Nicole DeMera offered to host it at the DeMera manse. When Sloan finds out Eric turned down Marlena's offer about hosting the gathering herself, she may rip into Eric for offending her new mama, in law. Eric may contend Marlena was fine with it and prompt Sloan to chill, but she LL remain worried over Nicole's involvement in all this. Sloan may offer some prognostications on the event turning into a catastrophe when the time comes. Days of our live spoilers say Eric and Sloan will do plenitude of bickering, so stay tuned. Maggie's DNA test leads to new biological relative discovery? Days of our live spoilers reveal that Constantine Meliunis had an intriguing question for Maggie Kiriakis in the March 14th occasion. That's when Constantine reflected on Maggie's beautiful red mane and wondered if she was of Irish descent. Maggie admitted she had no idea since her parents passed away when she was relatively youthful, and she no way knew any of her other natural cousins growing up on the ranch. After Maggie mentioned that her maiden name was Simmons, she guessed it could be Irish. Constantine suggested that Welsh or Scottish were other possibilities as they milled over Maggie's lineage. When Maggie said perhaps she should get her DNA tested, Constantine laughed and advised her to be careful. You know I know who you might end up having as a relative, Constantine refocused out in that same DOL occasion. That seems like the perfect line to set up a long-lost relative for Maggie especially a problematic bone. Still, maybe it could indeed lead to a shocking discovery, if Maggie goes through with this DNA test idea and looks into her strain. Days might be paving the way for a new character to join Days down the road, so that's one option to consider. Still, it's also possible Maggie presently has a long, lost relative on oil that she doesn't know about yet. Of course, Maggie has formerly had multiple retcons of children that did end go over well with Day's suckers, but this new eventuality relation does end inescapably have to be another son or son. It could fluently be a kinsman, bastard, whore son, or someone with another natural connection, to Maggie rather. Everett Lynch aka Bobby Stein comes to mind since he's working to uncover the details of his history. Could Everett be related to Maggie in some way? That would fit with Constantine's warning since Everett easily has a split personality and seems poised to go off the rails in the coming months. Also again, there might be someone differently who turns out to be Maggie's natural relative, depending on what the pens have in store for her. Anyhow, this DNA test discussion sounded significant and could spark fresh curiosity for Maggie, so we LL offer further prognostications as other details crop. Days of our live spoilers say Maggie may be poised to attack a riddle and get some stunning news, so stay tuned for updates on the discovery she might make.